you want to add a sales countdown timer to your WooCommerce store? Adding a sales countdown timer can help create urgency to boost sales conversions. In this video, we'll teach you how to create a sales countdown timer for your WooCommerce store step-by-step -step in a matter of minutes. First, we'll show you how to set up a sales coupon in WooCommerce. Next, we'll teach you how to create a sales countdown timer bar. And finally, we'll create a sales countdown exit pop-up for your WooCommerce store that grows your email list. Step number one is to set up a sales coupon in WooCommerce, and we're going to schedule it with Advanced Coupons plugin. For the next step, you'll need the Advanced Coupons plugin, which allows you to make much more advanced coupons for your WooCommerce store. So once you have that activated, go to WooCommerce and WordPress and click on Coupons. Under Add New Coupon, you can create a coupon code, and you might want to quickly write a description of what this coupon code is offering your online shoppers. Next, under General, go to Discount Type and choose what type of discount you're going to be offering. For this tutorial, we'll offer a 20% discount. Next, we'll scroll down and go to the Scheduler tab. Here, you can enter in the coupon start date, the coupon start error message, the coupon expiration date, as well as the message that will be shown if someone uses the coupon past its validity date. This will make sure that your coupon's not being used once your sale is already over. One final setting to consider is the one-click apply notification, which will allow your website shoppers to apply that flash sale or that sale coupon to their cart in one click. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is click publish and you've successfully created your sales coupon in WooCommerce. Step number two is to get Optin Monster to create your sales countdown timers. So at optinmonster.com, you can click the green Get Optin Monster Now button. For as little as $9 a month, you can have access to all campaign types. Once you've purchased an Optin Monster plan, you'll need to install and activate your Optin Monster plugin in your WordPress dashboard. Click on Activate, and this will bring you to the Optin Monster welcome screen where you can connect your account. So click that, and then you'll click on Authorize Optin Monster, connect to WordPress, and that will connect to the Optin Monster account you just created. Step number three is to create a floating bar with a sales countdown timer using Optin Monster. Click the green Create New Campaign button, and we'll select Floating Bar. Some excellent Template choices for your sales countdown timer include Cyber, which can be adapted to not only Cyber Monday deals, Flash is an excellent choice, Apparel, as well as Promo. And for today's tutorial, we'll select the Promo template. Then you'll need to name your campaign, decide which website to load it on, and you can start building. The first thing I'm going to do is change the floating settings. So in the side menu, click floating settings and you can toggle it to load on the top of the page. Next, we're going to remove the Optin Monster branding by toggling displayed power by link to off. The next step would be to change our sales countdown timer. And this is where you would change your static timer to reflect what you just established in your WooCommerce sales coupon. So you're going to want your timer to end the same day that your sales coupon ends. In our case, for this tutorial, it was June 7th. You can decide to show days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And once you've established that, always make sure to save as you go. Next, we're gonna change the wording of our floating sales countdown timer a little bit. So I'll change the message to say, flash sale 20% off right now. Next, we're gonna change the coupon code to say use code flash 20. And remember, this needs to be the code that you just created in your WooCommerce store. Again, save, then we'll go to display rules to decide when and where this floating bar will show on our store. So for trigger, we can use date and time, and we're going to schedule this the same dates that we just scheduled in WooCommerce in our advanced coupons plugin. That way we make sure that this offer is only shown to website visitors on the days that the coupon is valid. And you can show it all over your store or maybe just on the product pages. That's up to you. You don't need to go to integrations because we won't be gathering emails with this floating bar. But in analytics, you might want to take a couple of clicks to connect to your Google Analytics account. And then simply toggle from pause to live, save, 
And when you click on preview campaign, you can see what the sales countdown timer bar looks like on your WooCommerce store. Finally, step number four is to create an exit pop-up with a sales countdown timer to grow your email list. So back in your Optin Monster dashboard, you'll click the green create new campaign button. And next we'll choose pop-up. Again, you have some great templates for sales countdown timers, including promo, cyber, flash, and apparel. And we're going to choose the apparel template. Next, you'll want to name your campaign, decide which site it needs to load on, and you can start building. Now you'll just need to make some design changes. So you might want to change your headline to say flash sale. Then you can click on the 40% off image. And here I'm just going to replace it with a text box that says 20% off since the coupon we're making in this tutorial is a 20% off coupon. But obviously this would reflect your offer for your customers. Next, we're going to edit the static countdown timer. So again, we're going to want to adapt that to the end date of our coupon offering. And all we have to do is edit the submit button to reflect our offer. So in this case, we'll change it to send my free 20% off coupon. Save as you go. And next we'll need to edit our success view. So click on the success tab and here we'll make some design changes like removing the countdown timer since they have already entered in their email. And in this case, I like to include the coupon code directly on the success view to give our shoppers that instant gratification. Once you've completed the success design, then we'll go to the display rules where we can decide where this exit pop-up with the sales countdown timer will show on our store. The main display rule for this pop-up will be exit intent. So you can just type in exit into the search bar and you'll just need to click on that to add exit intent. Then you can show this exit intent pop-up on any page of your store, or you can also put it on certain product pages, or you can make it a cart abandonment pop-up by putting it on the checkout page. Next, go to the integrations tab and you can click on add new integration and connect to your email marketing service providers such as Constant Contact. Next, in analytics, in a couple of clicks, you can connect to your Google Analytics account. And finally, in the publish tab, you'll want to toggle from pause to live, save your campaign, and in preview campaign, you can see how your exit pop-up will look on your WooCommerce store. With these two campaigns on your WooCommerce store, you'll be able to create urgency to boost your sales conversions. Want to take your WooCommerce store to the next level? You can't miss these two videos. Check out free shipping bars for WooCommerce and how to create a spin to win coupon pop-up for your WooCommerce store. You can't miss it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Optin Monster videos, the channel dedicated to getting you more conversions, email subscribers, and sales.